Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to see the power of ChatGPT to write scripts and expressions for After Effects. Now this is not something very new. A lot of people have already done that. There is a very amazing tutorial by Nick in which he has created some amazing scripts for After Effects using ChatGPT and I was very excited so I wanted to try this on my own. And I was amazed how impressive ChatGPT is. But spoilers alert, it was not able to create the script that I wanted. But whatever the result it gave me, it was mind blowing. So let's see how I use ChatGPT with After Effects. So now to get started, I went to ChatGPT and I asked him, can you write After Effects scripts for me? And it said yes. So I asked him to make a script to create a bouncing text animation. And right off the bat, it created this piece of code. And not only this, it also showed me how I can run this. So after that, I copied this code and I open up extended script and just simply pasted it. And from here, I changed the environment to After Effects. And in order to make this run, I had to create a composition with the text layer in it, which says Chat GPT. Now, in order to run this, all I had to do is just simply click on this. And as you can expect, there was an error. So I again went to Chat GPT and asked him that I was getting this error. And right off the bat, it apologizes, which it does a lot. And after that, it gave me a solution and it fixed the code with some inputs so i just simply copied this one and just went again back to this and just pasted the new code and i went to after effects to run this and right after that i got this error and i went back to chat gpt to get this error fixed and the most impressive thing is that not only it's fixing the code but also it is telling me that why it occurred so you can see that this code should work with the older version of after effects but now i'm using the 2023 version so it showed me that it can fix this by simply changing this to array. So it gave me this new code and I again copied this and open up extended script. And again, I removed this code and just replaced it with the new one and try to run this. And again, it showed me this error and I went to chat GPT again with the same error. And you can see that it again changed the code with a couple of these variables and I was trying to run it but again I was getting the same error so I went back and forth with chat GPT and after effects and we tried a bunch of different codes but it was not working I was again getting the same errors so it started to replacing the values with different variables so just to see what will work but after four or five tries it was not working so I tried to decode this error on my own and I found a fix so after reading the error, I was able to figure out that we are getting error because of this. And over here, you can see we have this value new pause array, which is a array type. And we are inputting this into a function, which get these two parameters. And it was saying that this is not of correct type. There are two things that are not working over here. Either we are inputting the wrong value type over this function or we are inputting the right value type but we are not inputting it into the right property so you can see that this is an array and of course the position is an array of two value it has the position x and position y so that means that this is correct so then i realized that okay maybe we are inputting it into the wrong property and i tried to replace this text property with a uh, proper values so i change this text property with selected layer dot position because we are importing the array value into the position guess what this actually works so let me show you so if i open after effects over here and let me just quickly make this smaller and right now i have selected the layer and if i run this script you can see that it will work and now we are getting no errors and now if i play back here you can see that our text is bouncing but it is not bouncing properly and i don't know for some reason it was going out of this composition so it was moving down something like this so this is where i again headed back to chat gpt now this is the most interesting part which amazed me a lot after i went to chat gpt i told him that i fixed the error which i was getting by simply replacing this variable with this one and right off the bat you can see that chat gpt realizes that what changes i have done in the script and it worked for me and after that i went ahead to make the script and make the text to bounce within the composition so I inputted this text and again it gave me this code. Now the most interesting thing in this code is that you can see it has already taken in consider the fix that I have provided. So you can see that it has automatically changed the variable and it has changed this to selected layer dot position which worked for us. And now again I went back and just simply copied this and just pasted it in extended script and let's run our script now. 
And after that, I played this and you can see that our text is again going back downward, something like this. And so I went back to chat GPT and I told him that this is not working. And after that, it tried to take in the comp width and height in order to make the text stay within the region. And I had to do a lot of trials. So because I was getting the same results and after that, it gave me this code. So I simply copied this and ran this one in the script. And here you can see that now if I run this code, now if I play back, here you can see that our text is staying within the composition, but it is not bouncing. So I went back to chat GPT and I told him that this is working, but the text is not bouncing or it is bouncing only once. So after that, it gave me a bunch of different codes to work out, but from this point, it only went downhill. So you can see that I tried so many times, but it was giving me the code, which was not working at all. The text was bouncing only once and after so many tries, you can see that I tried a lot of times. I was not able to get the results. So at the end, I gave up. But I was not disappointed with this because I was amazed how amazing this chat GPT is that it is able to create so many script variations by just simple text inputs. And not only this, it also takes the consideration of your inputs and it fixes the code depending upon what you are inputting. And it takes the consideration of older inputs, which helps you to further refine your code a lot. Even though I was not able to get the result which I was looking for, but this is something truly game changing. And I hope that in future with the latest updates, we can see much more advanced version of ChatGPT, which we can use in different fields of our lives. I will definitely explore more what I can do with ChatGPT and After Effects. So if you are interested in that, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing videos like this. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.